That's awesome. So get excited, everybody. It's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be good. So uh, I know we have to wrap up, uh, wrap up soon, but I can't help but, but ask this question thinking of, I mean, we have you here, Ashley, and you're talking about value and knowing your own value and, and uh, your, your, what you bring to Coach Training EDU. I don't know how, if the participants or people who are watching understand how your energetic, the way you just love on people naturally, effortlessly, like seemingly effortlessly, uh, is it provides an energetic that I think the whole organization benefits from. How I'm kind of curious. <laughs> this might not be a very fair question, but I'm kind of curious. To what degree are you aware of the value that you you're bringing to to the world and organizations and just being? Thanks, John. First of all, um, it's really really kind. I'm learning it more and more. Um, I, I, I think for a long time, I kind of fought that of like, no, like there's just always so much more to learn and grow. And I still love that. But, um, I think that in the last couple of years, I've started to really allow myself to believe that more and pay attention when somebody says it, instead of it being like, no, like it's this or that it's like, okay, thank you. That's great. I'm going to take it and I'm going to like, let it settle a little bit and just let that grow. Um, how much do I know that value? I, I think some days I know it really well and some days I don't. And so I think it's an inner dialogue thing and, and checking myself of sometimes when I'm not feeling or I'm not accepting it, like what is the story I'm telling myself or what are the things that maybe I need to let go of or um, what kind of is that barrier there? And then also on the other side, remaining humble even too with that, like, because that is as a two, like that's the highest compliment ever is like, you bring like energy and light to people. And so part of me also has to check myself and make sure like, okay, yes. Like I do believe that about myself. Um, and also that, uh, there's another piece of it too, of I can show up of myself as myself. And, and it is, there's a certain point of responsibility that is mine in that. So from there, I can give my energy and what I have to give. And then, then from there, it's the responsibility of who else is in that presence to do what they want to do with that too. And I think for many years, my younger self tried to like control that of like, you're going to have the best time. <laughs> you're around me but now it's like okay here here it is and then take it and use it however you need to and what you want to do and so I'm going on in a circle there but um yeah I think I I, I own it more now than I think I ever have but also with the the goggles on or whatever it might be of like but there's still so much to learn and grow in it and it is like one of my greatest honors to be able to serve people and love on people. And um, yeah, I don't know, John, does it answer it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, kind of, it's not, I recognize it's not necessarily fair. I mean, it, it's not necessarily the, the fairest question in the sense, but it's, it's looking at I me mean, because it's kind of like odd, like how, to what degree are you, are you aware you're awesome <laughs> is, is basically the question. Uh, looking at it from from a awareness standpoint mm -hmm. it i think what i love about this work like what we do is that the awareness of our strengths is not about it's not an ego thing right. it's how can i how can i use my natural personality my natural uh when i, when I think of a personality i think of a, a habitual thought emotion sets like how do how would I use myself as uh you know for the in, in the best way for the larger purpose of this mission yes and for me the the thing that clicked was understanding and using my energy for the sake of something else like for the sake of you know revolutionizing ed education and bringing kindness and empathy into that space that was my thing that I needed and that's what I say all the time hearing you talk about value and understanding your value I'm like oh <laughs> you've taken that journey yeah well and I think that's the like, yeah. I totally agree with you where I think when we when we know ourselves and we 
for lack of a better word right now, love ourselves or understand our value, it's not really about us. It's always about others because when we understand our value, we step more into our purpose and we are, it's just so much, mm. it's so much more clear on how we are to, to care for people. Um, when we have the, um, the, the, the fogginess of, of insecurity or not understanding our value, whatever that might mean. Um, it just, it prohibits us from living how we were designed to live, I think. And so, yeah, I, I think that's the, one of the really cool things is if you are someone listening today is like, Oh, I don't know about myself or this or that, or it's selfish or whatever. It's not understanding your value is actually going to allow you to create a bigger ripple effect on this planet in the time that you have here than not knowing your value or not seeing your worth. And so mm. yeah, step mm. into it. It's okay. It's good. Know yourself and be proud of that. I think this is hard for people based on the way that we're educated in some degree. Like I, I wonder like where, because it's something I feel like a lot of people, myself included, wrestle with is, okay, so how, how can I provide value here? Or how can I, mm. like, uh, how can I show up in, in a certain way? Uh, and I, I think often think that people, I know I do sometimes too, will make things harder on myself. So I get more stressed out so I can prove that I'm working hard Yeah. other than, you know I mean? There's more of this, like, Oh, like if it's effortful, like, yeah, there's a certain degree of that. And this is where I feel like working with a coach and just being in this coaching in this coaching soup, it helps so much to, have the lens and mirror of other people who can see you because sometimes it's very hard to see yourself oh yeah sometimes the mirror we hold up is not a true reflection of ourselves it's rough a little distorted (laughs) and there are some people that don't hold up a true reflection either it's finding the people like you're talking about those team of people Hmm. or that community where you can like bring yourself fully especially on this coaching journey and creating a business like there's you learn so much about yourself and when you're on this journey and to have people that will hold up the correct mirror for you and the truest version of you on the journey is going to help you in return like know your value more and then in return provide more value to them and hold up a mirror for them that is accurate to them it's it all connects cool john we have to finish i know yes. we're <laughs> reaching the end point <laughs> of our journey here uh but yeah thank you everyone for listening for being a part of this community and being involved in coaching and this is a larger this is a you know world movement and the world needs more kindness and empathy so thank you for showing up thank you for being here this has been another coaching to flourish uh q a awesome thanks everybody bye, bye.